open to get lit so i don't know about you but i'm trying to get lit so that was left on red yeah i leave them on red what about you kind of I'm, I'm i'm in a pickle no basic zone Shang and she goes to she back with another video if you are new then hey boo my name is stishy be sure to go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below so that way you can officially become a part of the stish gang and make sure that you also turn on your post notification bell if you're already part of the stish gang then welcome back to the channel you guys you guys know i'm always happy to have you guys back to check out a brand new video so i know you guys already read the title that's why you're here so today i'm going to be reviewing the forever mood candles by my girl jackie i know she don't really know me but listen maybe in the future she doesn't know me on a personal level but i love her nonetheless so, so if you've been hiding underneath a rock or you're not familiar with people in the beauty community Jackie Ina is a black beauty influencer honestly she's a woman of many 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 talents but she advocates for people of color in the community 24 hours of the day and we just stand we just love her so she did launch her very own business called forever mood and it is a candle line it is a candle brand and if you know me if you've been following me for a minute then you know I'm a hardcore candle lover candle connoisseur candle cutie I just I just love candles hell there's one sitting over here right now it's not forever mood but no worries she will be sitting up there very very soon so I went ahead and got the gift box which includes all four of the candles that she launched I got it on the pre-launch which I think on the pre-launch date which I believe was August 4th and her actual launch date was the 10th I got all of them and let's go ahead and dive into what they look like, what they smell like, and all that good stuff. So before getting into today's video, make sure that you go ahead and leave your girl a big thumbs up down below. I haven't even like lit any of these candles as yet because I wanted to do this review. Not gonna lie, I did go ahead and open them. I did smell them because I just I just couldn't wait. Not gonna lie, I couldn't wait. But I'm gonna smell them all over again with you guys. Choose my favorites. I smell them all and I just put them back in the box. I haven't like revisited each scent to see which one is my favorite. So let me show you guys what it looks like. Stop yapping, because I be yapping on here sometimes. Ooh, ah, ooh, it's heavy, girl. Same for the week. So this is the box that it came in. Gonna try to blur out my address. Comes with that nice little fragile sticker, so it lets the um, shipping handler know to take your time. There's something very fragile in here. That's what she looks like. That's what she looks like. So this is what the box looked like. It has that nice cute marble detailing, pink marble detailing. On the back it shows all the candle names that are inside of the box. And this is really cute. Y'all know I'm a sucker for details. It says open to get lit. I don't know about you but I'm trying to get lit so let's open it. Ooh, okay. Again, details, forever mood. And on the inside flap, it says mood activated with her signature right on there. I love her signature. It's so cute with the J and the heart. So as I mentioned, I got every single candle. I got caked up, left on red, matcha business, and cuffing season. So which one should we touch first? I'm just going to go in order. I'm going to go in order of how they are in the box, top, left, and then just make my way down. So, so the first one that I'm going to dive into is caked up. This is what caked up looks like. It's not even your birthday, but let them eat cake. And according to her Instagram, Caked Up has um, details, scent details of roasted pistachio, musk, almond cream, and honey. Smells like cake pops, pistachio ice cream, toasty, creamy vanilla beans. So, packaging again, logo is right on top of the candle lid. I smell the pistachio. And there's a hint of vanilla bean in here as well. I'd say it's not like too overpowering of like a cake smell like I don't know if you guys have ever smelled like a birthday cake candle I don't know if you guys have ever smelled a birthday cake candle it doesn't smell like that it's not over it doesn't it doesn't have an overpowering scent of cake it's like a grown-up cake if that makes sense she's cute she's very cute I definitely smell the pistachio though but I actually like it it's cool it's nice little, it's a nice little scent so the next one is left on red worried about who worry about you because who the hell needs a text back anyways so the scent details for left on red includes tropical fruit coconut milk coconut and caramel Ooh, sounds yummy so let's go ahead and smell it Ooh, ooh, ooh! i don't remember liking this one this much but again i only smelled it one time 
yes i'm i'm getting the tropical fruit which is pretty interesting i'm also getting the coconut but all these scents are very subtle but still very noticeable does that make sense like it's not overpowering where you're like well damn like let me go ahead and close this back up it smells really good i can't wait to burn these because i just know like i feel like it's just gonna have the room smelling just amazing wow that's actually really nice it says it smells like vanilla nuts coconut milk and heavy cream i smell the coconut milk and the heavy cream yeah this is nice y'all not gonna lie that was left on red yeah i leave them on red what about you my read receipts are always on next up is matcha business this is what matcha business looks like she's in his dms you're his hot tea y'all ain't the same period no for real though sent details of hazelnut coffee almond milk honey and lavender it says it's supposed to smell like vanilla coffee bean a hazelnut frappuccino and lavender so let me go ahead and take a whiff and see what i smell this is different it's very different like this is something i wouldn't normally gravitate to but i would buy it does that make sense Ooh, the hazelnut stands out in this for sure i'm getting a little bit of milk as well and the coffee yeah that that vibe lavender faint this is hazelnut in a candle baby this is that's what this is this is a coffee candle and this is what I, that's what it's supposed to match your business okay yeah this is this is pretty cool this is not again this is not something i would normally gravitate to but i actually like it i would probably pick it up in the store and smell it and be like oh she's cute let's try her out that's the vibe that this gives me this is really this is really nice Ooh. Okay. clear the nose clear the ear for the next one so the final candle in the bunch last but not least is called cuffin season this is what she looks like have a bay and set the mood okay scent details include jasmine mineral citrus interesting white cedar and salty lemon wow that's an interesting fragrance um combination mineral citrus white cedar lemon and jasmine okay smells floral zesty and citrusy i like citrusy candles and i also really like floral candles zesty okay that's the stepping it up a notch but let's go ahead and smell wow mm. Mm -mm -mm. i think we found the one baby i think this is the one i think this is the one Ooh, i could smell this all day to be honest i'm not even exaggerating like i could really smell this all day mm. wow i'm definitely getting the lemon i'm getting the jasmine as well oh, this smells really good y'all like I feel like guys would really like this too. This may be the most unisex out of the bunch. Yeah, I need this one. If you don't get any of them, this is the one. And it's funny because I didn't think this would be my favorite, but this might be my favorite. Wow, okay. All right, so let me gather my final thoughts. I'm gonna put them in order, one to four, my, from my most favorite to my least favorite, but I won't even say the fourth one is gonna be my least favorite because I like all of them. I like all of them, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them in order of my most favorite to my least favorite. It's just gonna be the one that I per se that I might not like necessarily gravitate to as much or that I might not maybe purchase again if that makes sense so let me gather my thoughts and I'll be right back okay you ready are you ready boo do you already know what the list is looking like so number one drum roll please number one cuffing season she's that good like she smells really 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 good y'all like this is a whole vibe like by yourself with your bae with somebody else's bae i mean I, I don't judge this just smells this just smells really good I, this is number one i would buy this again and 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 i personally feel like i haven't smelled anything like this before no cap puffin season is that girl she's number one. Second runner up second runner up is left on red yep left on red smells really good y'all oh wow yes mm, yes she smells so good she smells really good it's just giving me milk vibes it's giving me honey it's giving me it's just giving me everything that i really like in a candle left on red runner up number two now i'm kind of tied for three and four i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of I'm, I'm i'm in a pickle but i'm gonna go ahead and choose numero tres matcha business matcha business is numero three now again i mentioned this is something that i won't normally gravitate to but i'm really digging the hazelnut i've purchased a coffee candle once before it was i think coffee caramel and it smelled so good so i know this is gonna smell really really nicely in my room 
but yeah yep never mind i'm not confused anymore yeah this is this is the one matcha business is my number three she's cute she's cute i feel like this could be unisex as well which leaves us with number four and as i mentioned before i'm not saying i don't like the candle I like all of them but the last one which is caked up is actually one that if i had to choose between any of the other ones i would drop this hot quick and in a hurry not like that i don't want it to sound like that because i actually i will burn it and i know i'll enjoy it but it's just not my go-to i'm not like a cakey cupcakey type of candle person i don't mind like pumpkin like during the fall and stuff but i'm not really like a cupcake kind of gal when it comes to or like a cake kind of gal when it comes to candles i like eating it <laughs> but i mean it's still nice but yeah and again i still like her but i put her on the bottom of the list so overall how do i feel about forever mood i like all the candles they smell really really nicely each candle is 35 i paid 125 for the box i think that's a pretty good deal for the box um personally i will be reusing this or repurposing this box it's a beautiful box i feel like it'll sit really really nicely on like my bookshelf set up in my room just a really cute collector's item i feel like even after burning all the candles you can use this as like a place to store jewelry or a place to store i don't know whatever you want to store it's up to you but yeah i'll definitely be keeping this box i will say that i have a little rip right here i don't know how that happened but it's okay it's totally fine not not too worried about it not too stressed about it but i like the fact that it comes in a box that way you can keep whatever you want in the box you can repurpose the box when you're finished with all the candles i'd be repurposing the candle jars as well I'll, I, maybe i'll use it as a brush holder maybe i'll put a plant in there but i like that i can reuse both the box and the candle jars let's talk about shipping i placed my order on august 4th as i mentioned my order was delivered on August 22nd so I'm not gonna lie that took a little took a little time so shipping did take a little just a little long but I understand it's her initial launch so hopefully shipping will get better in the future and I'll give her a break because coronavirus USPS just a whole lot's been going on in the country in the world so the only thing that I felt like could have been worked on was shipping but I'm not gonna hold her to it I understand that some things are issues that you might not have in hand in so gang that is all for today's video let me know down below in the comments if you picked up anything from the forever mood launch i want to know what candles you got did you get a headband did you get a pillowcase because she did launch other things as well i only got the candle gift box so let me know what you picked up are you going to be picking anything up have i helped you make a decision let's chat down below in the comments if you haven't already subscribed make sure you hit that red big red subscribe button down below and ring the bell as well so that way you don't miss out on any of my future uploads thank you guys for tuning in i love you guys and until next time until next video until next upload until next post i'll see you guys all later bye guys if you're already part of the chat if you're if you're already part of this a little salmon in my tooth so cake that wait no so you guys read the title already that's why you're here right that's why you're here chant the forever mood candles by my best girl i'm gonna go to the gym it's not forever mood i love it's not forever mood it's not forever mood but no worries we might want we might have we might so the final candle in the bunch is so the final candle so the final candle but I'm gonna put them in order of my 